Hello and welcome to the next Building Endeavour video. So in this episode I'm going to concentrate my work now on the transom. This is this part of the uh, hull that hasn't been coated yet or filled in yet. All the, uh, the whales have now been coated and done and fixed into place. And uh, this is now time to put this um, transom section on. Uh, but it has to be shaped first. There is supposed to be a curved profile to this. So I've uh, made myself a nice sanding block. I've used a very, very, very coarse grade of sandpaper here to start with because I need to remove quite a bit of um, wood here, get a curved sort of profile. The transfer section is going to get put on. It's going to be then pinned in position while the glue sets and that's going to be the first sort of uh, task in this first part of the video. So let's get to that now. Okay, so I'm pretty happy with the curvature that I've got on this uh, transom end. This transom does have to bend somewhat and then be fitted to the profile that I've managed to shape with the sanding so far. So it will be pinned into position. Um, right, so you can see there's a rather nice angle there. But before that, I have to mark this out because this outer edge has to be prepared with some um, thin planking. So I'm gonna get on with that now. Okay, so finally the time has come to put the transom now onto the end here and cover up this final section. So it has to bend like I said before. I will be using some pins to hold it in place. Um, the idea is to get a real smooth connection between this top bit. I've sanded down as best as I can. But uh, anyway, here goes. Okay, that's gone very well now. So that's been um, super glued in position and pinned. The next stage now is to file off these extru extruding bits here and the top of these uh, pin heads. Then there's a final covering that has to go on, which has to follow the curvature, and that has also to be super gl glued on, like so. Anyway, so we're going to do that bit next.
So that's the transom now fixed on. Um, I decided in the end not to use uh, super glue uh, and instead I just used white PVA glue. Uh, the reason being that super glue just grabs too quickly, too instantly, and uh, doesn't allow for any errors. So at least I was able to just manage it and push it into shape, and get it absolutely aligned up by using white glue, just clamped it up all the way around as you can see. Anyway, that's it for this week's video. Um, if you do like these videos, remember to please like and subscribe. And uh, hopefully I will see you on the next one. Bye for now.